Good morning. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Thank you for coming back to the channel. The channel specifically dedicated towards new chinchilla owners figuring out how to care for their chinchilla in the best fashion possible. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Otherwise, I want to dive into today's specific video, which is seven things that all chinchillas hate. I'm going to break down the seven things that my chinchilla Asher here hates, give you the inside scoop on that, and we're starting right now. All right, guys, as you can see, this is one of the videos where Asher's not going to be out of the cage. I know sometimes those are not nearly as fun, but sometimes you still wanna get some content out there and it doesn't always work out to make a video while doing so. So, we'll, so we will see what kind of interaction she wants to partake in right here next to me inside of the cage. I don't know if she'll get out and get a little crazy or if she'll just be kind of mellow in that hiding box. But let's go ahead and dive into the first thing that Asher hates and I would assume most chinchilla hates. And it's one of those things I read about from many of the YouTube subscribers, many of the people on planetchinchilla.com, but it is how picky chinchillas can be with hay that is not fresh. And what you consider fresh may not be what they consider fresh. Asher here in my previous chinchilla, Chili, they had a pretty short temper when it came to hay that was more than a day or two old if it was still in a hay feeder or in a safe bowl inside of the cage. Chili actually would physically pick it up and discard it or try and find a way to get it out of her eating area of the cage. Asher just chooses not to eat it. So while Asher's pretty crazy compared to how Chili was, she's not necessarily as rude with throwing her food around whenever she's upset. She simply just doesn't eat it and she'll eat more of the pellets. And it's super clear, guys, when this is taking place. I mean, if you fill up a hay feeder that's safe or a bowl that's safe and they're not eating it or you kind of notice them picking and choosing which pieces to eat, I would probably swap it out even if it's only a couple days old. And fresh Timothy hay has that fresh smell to it. It almost has that fresh feel to it as well whenever you're putting in the feeder. After a day or two of it sitting inside of their bowls, it gets a little stale, I guess is the best word you could use to describe it, but make sure that you're giving your chinchilla a fresh set of hay. Don't leave the old hay in there that they're not going to eat because hay is a critical part of their diet, so make sure they're happy, make sure they're enjoying it. Number two, guys, is chinchillas hate, and this has to be common across all chinchillas. I've definitely noticed it, but they hate when they don't have their hiding box or nesting box, whatever you choose to call it. The nesting box or a hiding box like you see with this wooden box, back here in Asher's cage is their safe zone. It's also typically their sleep zone. Some chinchillas will sleep in a hammock, some will sleep on these shelves, these mini shelves you see here, and they'll just kind of fall asleep sitting up straight. But for the most part, what you can see here on camera, that is her favorite position right there. So she'll sit at the front opening, still kind of keeping an eye of what's going on, but she's always in that box. So make sure that one of the first things you purchase for a chinchilla, if you're gonna be a new chinchilla owner, is one of these nesting or hiding boxes. Does not have to be exactly like this one. Just make sure it's not plastic and you're good to go. All right guys, the third thing that I would assume all chinchillas hate unless they're boring chinchillas is no toys or accessories inside of the cage. I would argue that I'm not even the best at doing this. I have seen other cages that are the same Midwest Critter Nation 2 cage that this is and they're just decked out. They have tons of stuff everywhere. I've noticed that my previous chinchilla and Asher doesn't necessarily use every single thing you can potentially buy for a chinchilla. So I keep it a little more simple. I stick to some more of the basic type things to fill up the cage like the shelves. A couple of the hanging toys. I do have a hammock. I just have it. I need to put it back in. I have a, one of those purple night angel hammocks. But in general, chinchillas like the accessories, the things to do inside of the cage. You can do wheels like the chin spin 15 inch. You can do more like tunnels and hiding boxes. Obviously ledges because they love to jump, which I'll cover here shortly in the video. But 
Overall guys, make sure you have a nice size cage and make sure you load it up with accessories that are safe, which is kind of a direct correlation with the fourth thing I have for you that chinchillas hate is no playtime. And let me clarify really quick because I do know that some chinchillas are more shy, timid, or reserved, and they also like their cage more than others. I'm trying to think of a way to put that into the best terms possible. I guess some chinchillas are more okay with less playtime than other chinchillas. They don't necessarily get so ecstatic to come out, and maybe they're a little less social. Maybe they just feel the safest and they're the happiest when they're inside of the cage. But in general, if you have a social chinchilla, they do want some time out of the cage. They do get excited for it. Asher goes nuts over it. Chili was in the middle. She would get excited for it, but she was also okay if she didn't. Kind of a blend between the two. But in general, most of the time, the excitement peaks when they get a chance to come out and do something different, play in a different, larger area. And of course, take their dust bath, which leads me into number five, what all chinchillas hate is greasy and dirty fur these guys have thick fur it does get kind of matted down relatively quickly when they don't have the opportunity to take a dust bath they need a clean cage and they need the ability to clean themselves and the dust is the only way they can do that so don't skimp on dust baths with your chinchilla they don't like that and i would argue that dust baths are probably one of the favorite overall activities a chinchilla gets to partake in so don't ever cut that short make sure that is always included no matter how you do it whether it's in a playpen in a chinchilla proof room some people do put the dust inside of the cage i disagree with that just because the debris it can produce inside of the cage inside of the food clog up a water bottle make the fleece dirty etc but nonetheless they need the dust bath so you do you you figure it out however you want to do it all right guys number six that chinchillas always typically hate especially if it is a new relationship is you getting too pushy with the relationship you trying too hard to interact trying too hard to pick up hold coddle cuddle whatever they don't like that asher didn't even like it and asher is honestly i mean my total chinchilla ownership is limited compared to some of you probably but extremely social warmed up very quickly and still they do not like when you push it too quickly with any kind of bonding or interaction so make sure that you are patient that you are taking it at the pace of your chinchilla not based on things that you read based on what you're noticing with interactions with your actual chinchilla that you've adopted if they are skittish if they slip their fur if they bite you that is a pretty clear indicator to back up a notch if it's the opposite and they're loving it, clearly you can continue what you're doing. But, you know, read the room with your chinchilla a little bit, figure it out and don't push it too much. And you'll be in much better shape and build a stronger bond overall by interacting in that fashion. Guys, another thing that chinchillas hate, and this isn't just a preference, this is life or death, but they hate warm, humid temperatures. They don't just hate it, they will die. So. If you are, again, new to owning a chinchilla or you plan on getting one, which I have to assume that every video that goes on this channel, at least a few people watching will be in that category, you need to climate control the room. You need to provide a temperature that is probably about 66 to 73. Even 73 is pushing it and the humidity needs to be low. Typically, you don't need to worry about humidity in a house unless it's something like a basement which if that's the case, I recommend something like a dehumidifier to help lessen the humidity in the air. You can also purchase things like the granite stones. I have one in the cage, you can't really see it. And I'll do a separate video on that specifically, but you can buy things that help keep them cool inside of the cage as well. They don't like getting hot, they get stressed out, they play and they jump all over the place so it's easy for them to raise their body temperature quickly so make sure that you are providing a climate controlled area for your chinchilla and guys i would be super interested to hear about other things that your specific chinchilla hates i know that every chinchilla has a pretty unique personality so be sure to drop comments about the things that you know your chinchilla hates down below so we can kind of all learn from everybody's experience with their chinchillas 
And again, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. We do new video every week. We cover not just fun topics, but frequently asked questions. It is worth your time if you are just getting into owning a chinchilla. And we highly appreciate it. The same way we appreciate when you give us a thumbs up on these videos, it helps us immensely get seen by other chinchilla owners on YouTube. So please do that for Asher and I. Please visit planetchinchilla.com, P-L-A-N-E-T-C-H-I-N-C-H-I-L-L-A.com, planetchinchilla.com. That also helps us immensely get seen on Google by other chinchilla owners. And never forget to hit that notification button so you are notified in the future for all of our new content that comes out. Guys, we wish you happy holidays. We hope you've already had some great holidays thus far to end this 2020 and head into what is hopefully a better 2021. We plan to be here with you in 2021, making plenty of more videos. We apologize if some of the holiday scheduled videos are not quite on the days they were supposed to be, or if there was a lack of a video, the holidays tend to do that for content publishers, but we're here. We're creating the new content. We are ready for 2021. We appreciate all the subscribers and we will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.